Hey everybody, this is another Conroy. In the last episode, we proceeded to get some progress on the Fledge quest, and we also got some Gratitude Crystals, and we only have two more randomly, randomly placed ones before we are done. And in this episode, we're going to head over to the Laneru region. We are going to try and get an Aron, and also we might get a Claydol, but it does, that, there's not much of a chance. And actually, in reality, this is not Chugga Conroy, or another Conroy, as I said. This is Pal Plays, and we're actually going to go to the Laneru region to get the new Silent Realm area. So let's head on over there, and I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to reference another LP here. I am sorry if I did. I am severe. I am extremely sorry if I did. And we're actually not cutting because that intro worked. So we'll just continue on. And if I got in trouble for doing that, I'm sorry. Anyway, <laughs> we are heading over here. Um, it's really cool that we were able to, you know, only do one episode of side side quests, which is it's really nice. Um, this, this Silent Realm is, it's not really hard, it's just, it, it is harder though, it's not nearly as easy as the first one. So we are going to have maybe some trouble with it. Also, I'm trying to perform my glitch, let's see, right here. There we go, that's it. We didn't, we didn't go as fast as we do normally. So we're here already. We actually made very good time, only like 30 seconds. And let's see, where are we supposed to go? I think we need to go here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we are. So as soon as we get down here, let's equip our new shield so we can see the stats on it. I think it has a lot of hit points. I could... I'm pretty sure it has a lot. You can already see the, um, the trial gate. We have arrived at Laneru, de at Laneru Desert. You can use your dousing ability to locate the entrance to the trial you must pass to open the way to the Sacred Flame. And that intro kind of threw me off. Whoa! Man, you scared me. Um, the... The enemy's got a buff here as well. Um, right here we have a Moblin. Let's go ahead and, um, take him out with our favorite method of taking Moblins out. And that is the bomb. And it didn't work. There we go. That didn't work. That didn't work. That didn't work. No, 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 no. Let me up. You stay away. You jerk. I didn't even know he had that. Actually, no, I think I did. I don't remember ha him having that attack. Wow. Okay. <laughs> enough. Enough side tracking. Um, let's go ahead and use dousing, even though we just saw it, and it's right there. I'm kind of making dousing look useless in this LP. It's really not. It just... I've played the game before, so I know where everything... Well, almost everything is. Also, whoa. Wow, it looks like Link's kind of... <laughs> kind of tripping there. <laughs> Wow. Blessed butterflies indeed. Okay, so let's go ahead and play our song. Bum bum 
Also, I just hummed really off key there, even for me. Oh, thing, thing. Ugh. Tumbleweed. <laughs> I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to distract from the from the thing that was going on. What are we doing again? Oh yeah, we're going in the, th in the thing. Okay, let's go in the silent realm. Go. What? Oh, I was holding the remote upside down. That's why. Or as the joke I made... Actually, is my volume... My, is my volume working? No, it's not. There we go. So, this one... Oh, my word. Those guys, I forgot what they're called. Lookers, I think I said? No, I said chasers. Yeah, they're chasers. Master Link. As you know by now, I cannot file, follow you. The trial calls out to your mind alone, as it, do, as it is in every Silent Realm. This is the second trial, known as Nauru, Nauru's Silent Realm. It will test your wisdom, Master. You must overcome this trial to find the flames that will enhance your sword. And we get the Vessel of... Spirits. Spirit Vessel. I... The order was wrong. When your vessel is full, your spirit will grow and you will be entrusted with a new power by the goddess. Do you have any questions? Oh, I didn't mean... <laughs> no, I, I actually don't. I have no questions, I'm sorry. Master, I, I will await your return in the outside world. Oh, man. Um, the closest tier we have is way over there, so we have to run past this guy. So, as soon as we exit here, chaos will unfold. Okay, run. Now, you leave me alone. Pretty sure he just took a swing at me. And we get the tier of Nehru, which should be blue, I think, just because it's Nehru, and Nehru is always blue. So I'm thinking, um, let's look at our map. Okay, we have to return here, so let's get the farthest ones first. That makes the most sense. So, there's one on top of this, so let's get the farthest ones. That one looks fairly easy, so... Actually, you know what? We're going to start over here. Right here. This one has waking water on it, but the cool thing about... Actually, no, let's get that one. Yeah, let's get... No, let's not. Let's get this one, since this one's fairly hard, and we don't have much time left. Which is fine that I ran out of stamina. So we want to wait for this waking water to be over. Good. Are you good? Good. Good. Gone. Okay, we want to drag this as fast as possible. Fast as possible. No! Oh my word! Ah... <sighs> I'm surprised that didn't trigger. I touched it. I so touched it with my foot. I was trying to jump on top of it, but it didn't work. Okay, so you just want to jump up here and grab it. Now the next one will be up here, and it one this one's really easy to get. Just jump up here. This is number three. Now, um... Let's go ahead and get... You jerk. We're going to head around in a uh, counterclockwise fashion here in this area. There's no waking water here, I don't think. If there is, I'm in for a nasty surprise, but I don't think there is. So, here's one. Oh, and they do... Okay, I was going to say, they should replenish stamina. That'd be a really good idea. But they actually do, so they thought of that. Although, those should replenish stamina, I think. So, let's leave this one for later. Okay, so we want to head over here. And you can see it floating up there. It's in the tree. Thankfully, there are no, um, Pokemon, or whatever they're called, Beedrills or whatever, over here to ram us. So what you just want to do is somersault in the tree. And it'll drop down, and you can grab it. Now, this one, oh, this one's so evil. These are all chasers. So what you want to do is just drop quietly. Just very, very quietly. We're gonna head this way. 
I think if you walk, we're fine. I think walking's better. No, it's not. Running's better. Running's better. Running's better. No, no, no. Oh, you jerk. Okay, luckily we can just grab this, I think, and they won't bother us. Please? Oh, thank goodness. Okay, uh, walking doesn't work, so apparently running does. Oh, and a uh, thing. I didn't realize. Good, because we needed these. Dusk Relic. I... Are these randomly generated? I don't think these ones are. I believe they're just hidden away, because... Um, in Farron Woods, that one that's behind the tree on that little island with the waking water, that one's always there, I'm pretty sure. Jerk. Okay, I have just a sick feeling. Also, there's one up there. We'll get it in a second. I have a really evil feeling that one of, that there's a thing over here. No? Okay, this would be a really good place to put a uh, dusk relic, but apparently they didn't. They just left this area here, and also we need to hurry. Does running hurt us? Are they more apt to hear us or chase us if we're running? Also, I see one over there. I'm not sure. Oh, I think the secret I found for here is if you follow the route shown by these, the, the fruit, then you'll be fine. So let's go ahead and grab that easy one, because our time's about to run out. We probably have, have about 30, 20 seconds. Okay, so there, there it is. Let's go ahead and get that desk relic, since we have time. We kind of got them all in this area. We got all of them. So let's go ahead and jump up here. Ooh, desk relic. And it's right by a thing, so let's grab this one first. It's right up here. And there's a stamina fruit there, which I'm going to take advantage of and grab. And we'll get that dusk relic, because this is one of the only places we can get these. I think there are a couple others, other locations that aren't Silent Realm areas. But this is one of the ma the ones that you have to do. You know, you have to do these Silent Realm things. So you might as well grab as many as you can, instead of just grinding for them later. That makes sense, right? I think it does. So let's go ahead and run over there. The good thing about this is that there are no enemies you really have to face. It's really just hide and seek, except they're out to kill your soul, literally. There's another one over there. But it isn't really that bad, and I have a feeling that there's one over here. Pretty sure... Yep, there is. That, that was smart for them to do that. Especially because there is an amber relic up here, I think. Like, right up here? No, but there isn't now. So, this is actually pretty calm. The thing is, it's spaced out, and besides having a bunch of space in between everything, you also have, you know, sand. Also, I'm greedy, but I'm gonna grab that one. So, they also have sand, and I just... Okay, remind me later, we need to go over there with the stamina potion, because there's something over there. There's a reason why they have that walled off. So let's go ahead and grab this. Should just be able to go straight right here. Good. And the other one, let's grab that one over there. Also, I think I just heard someone call me. Could be wrong. But I think I did. Now... The Elden one, the Elden um, tier, that one is scary, and I have a story to tell, which I'll probably tell then, but that one's just pl flat out scary. And actually, this one, these guys aren't chasers, these guys are just watchers. So like, look, we're just right next to him, and he doesn't really care. So, what I might do, I, in fact I'm going to. I'm just going to tank through him. I'm just going to grab the tear and run. There. That worked. I'm going to die. I'm going to die, aren't I? No, I'm not. Okay. So that worked. Um, I want to jump over here. Go ahead and grab this one. See a dusk relic over there, which I want to get. Go ahead and run over here. Um, oh, no. I'm going to die. I just died. Goodbye, cruel world. Did I just fail the thing? 
Please tell me no. No, I'm good. That makes sense, because you have no hearts, so, you know, if you fall like that, you, you're not going to lose hearts. Which, actually, fall damage doesn't... I mean, um, like, falling down a pit doesn't make you lose stuff. So where's the next one? Are they all in the... They are. They're... We're done. They, all the ones left are on the tower. I'm I'm fine with that. Um, let's go ahead and climb that tower. And we can just finish this out. This wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. Like, we had... We didn't have that much trouble. We had those uh, chasers in the... Um, in the beginning there that gave us a little bit of trouble, but nothing that bad, and then there's the... We only have three left. Um, I'm looking for a, a fruit, whatever they're called, so I can see stuff. So we have one more, uh, and we need two more. I know one's on the top of the tower, but, okay, here's, here's this one. And the last one's on the top. So we just finished this. Can we run up here? We can. That's... I didn't know you could do that. That's pretty cool. So yeah, we're done. Pretty cool. I might just make this a little bit more hectic and just wake up every single thing here. In fact, if there's... I will run into the first um, chaser or watcher I see. So that's it. That was really easy. That's this was arguably easier than the Farron one, which I don't remember. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and wake that guy up. Um, no, we're gonna wake that guy up because he's easier to get to. Okay, you guys ready for chaos? Because if I fail this, you guys get to put. You guys need to, you know, remind me. Okay, I'm giving you guys a chance. You guys can do whatever you want. You can't even get me. Oh, snap! Oh, my word! No! No! Ugh. Yeah, you, you didn't stand a chance. You, you really didn't. They're really not evil. They're, they're kind of just there. They're not evil. Oh, and out of that, we get the claw shots. I bet you weren't expecting that. We get the claw shots, and we now get to do cool stuff. We get to... And it's not like Toilet Princess. We have the double claw shots. So, now a bunch of stuff has been opened up to us. This is what we needed to do all the stuff in Skyloft. To get the remaining um, uh, scattered crist grad 2 crystals. And... That's, this is what we needed. Congratulations, Master. Thank you, Fee. You've com completed the trial. You now have the power to proceed to the sacred flame that will be entrusted to your sword and your strong spirit. The claw shots are one of the goddess's sacred gifts. You can extend those claws attached to the chains to pull yourself to targets and vines beyond your reach. The flame is somewhere in the desert. I conjecture that it lies in a place that you have not visited, Master. Really, Fee. You did. You thought that all by yourself, did you? So, they automatically equip. Let's go ahead and go up here. Is there anything here? Ooh, but there's a thing over there. So, this is a fan-favorite item. Where's the guy? I know he's here. Butterflies, are you trolling me? You are. Okay, well, we have time in the episode, so I'm gonna show the secret stuff in this area. First off, I'm not, I don't even need to cut to this. Just jump down here. Go over here. Don't die, jump down here. And the first thing is a chest right there that we can get that in this chest is, I have no idea, but it's been taunting us for a lot, for a long time. 
a Dusk Relic, so apparently you can hit one here, but it's kind of... It's only one, so... And we have 15, so... We won't need any for a while. So... Let's see. Elsewhere, we need to head this way. And we're not going to be able to get that. Sorry for the sound right there, the, if there's a sharp noise. That was because, um... It's allergy season, and... I have allergies, so I needed to fix the allergies, bro. Link looks so bummed that he's tired, man. Also, we never equipped the shield, ever. We were going to, but we never did. I'm sorry about that. So, can we hit him? I want to kill him. Uh, okay. What we want to do is run over here and hopefully not die there. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at our, on our map. Okay, so we can go the whole way. What we want to do is... Also, I want to test this out. No, oh, don't want to do that. Oh, it does make a, na a noise. Cool. It's kind of a it, kind of a painful noise, because I'm wearing headphones. It's kind of painful. Oops. Okay, so now that we have the claw shots... We can go ahead and go in here and defeat the yellow chews that stand in our way. Go ahead. Release the electricity and you're you're dead. And there's another one. I think there's a really big one here too. There we go. There's a big one right up here, I'm pretty sure. Right there. Well, I got a lot. I got a lot of them. Come on. Do your shock. There we go. So, in this chest is a... Piece of heart. Wow. Oh, and we have a new heart container. Wow. Just not expecting that. And next, we get to have the first actual use of this. The really cool use. This is why this is a fan, fa fan favorite item. We go here. And we go here. We're all like Spider-Man. Does Spider-Man do this? I'm not sure. I've never watched a Spider-Man movie. But if he does this, we're totally Spider-Man. Or we're, um, we're Tarzan or George of the Jungle. Except this time, there are no... No! 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 No. Please land where we were. Okay, we're good. That was humiliating. Okay, so we want to run over here. And we want to claw shot here. And drop down. And we want to hit this goddess cube. The other thing is actually on the way where we need to go, but it's completely across the area. So let's go ahead and um, run away from this guy. I'm going to go ahead and cut to that one. Okay, the first secret... I'm not sure if there are multiple, but one of them is this. You want to claw shot up here. This is where um, we kind of first came into this area with all the Pokemon over there. I'm going to call them Pokemon until I remember their names. So, you want to go ahead and do this. And there is the third? Second? I have no idea. Um, Goddess Cube this episode, and it actually makes it really easy to traverse where we need to go which is just right over here there's a jerk over there which we'll deal with I would love this is something that I wish had happened if they had made it so on the top of that tower after doing some stuff it unleashed a gigantic time shift stone and you could reawaken all of this area I would have really liked that and they should have done it. It wouldn't have been that hard to design, I wouldn't think. I wish they had done that. That would have been so cool. Like, after you get the claw shot. It'd be really cool if they did that. They should have. 
Okay, so we want to go over here and challenge this guy. If I remember, I think he actually dropped something special. Wait. And we can kill him really easily now with our new swords, which is nice. No, he just drops a normal red rupee. So what you want to do is run over here. Once again, this is made really easy by the claw shots. We're going to ignore that, actually. And you want to... Now, normally you'd have to traverse all this annoying stuff, but instead, you can just do this. That. Push this down, because then you can access it without the claw shots. And we're where we need to go, pretty much. We were, we're getting a lot done this episode, too. We are almost to the dungeon. Actually, we're not. That's not true. Okay. So we're, we still have a lot, a long way to go. So you just want to go up here. And I think that there's a secret. Just fly up here. No secret? There, there has to be a secret. Okay, maybe in the tree. Maybe in the tree. Is there a secret? Please say yes. No! No, game designers. It's kind of cool up there. You, they, they missed an opportunity right there. They could have put a secret there, and it would have been really, really cool. So, we've never seen this Goron before, I don't think. Is that Gorko? I'm not sure. Actually, I know for a fact there's one here. Okay. Good. Boing oing. Why does stone boing? And also, is there a myth mythological mythological reference with them, with Japanese mythology? I don't know. They say somewhere in this vast desert, there's a dragon who loves putting the abilities of, of those who visit him to some kind of test. If you can master the challenges he throws at you, you'll be rewarded with a shield stronger than any other. So we're going to remember that for later. And also, I don't think I showed this. Their eyes, if you shoot them with... No, it does it. I know it for a fact. I've done it before. I have done this before. If you shoot them in the eye... They used to give you a blue rupee. I remember they did. Huh. Well, there are other stuff you can do with them. Like, for example, if you spray that... Well, blow them with this, they'll shrink. Um, if you... This does nothing. If you... Um, beetle them... No, they'll just do normal stuff. Um, if you blow them up, they'll do something. But if you do this, you can make them spin. If you do this, I don't think it does anything. Yeah. So yeah, uh, the bomb, though, that does something cool. In a way! I like how they made a hole up here just for him. It's funny. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to the Gor- where did he go? Go talk to the Goron, because we're just wasting time. Well, I am. You, you're not wasting time. I almost never get visitors. My name is Golo, so it is a different one. I'm researching the legend of the three dragons, one of which is said to live here. At first gla glance, it would seem that there's nothing beyond this area, but I know there's something here. I'll just keep on looking. So your name is Link. I see. Not the easiest name to say, is it? What kind of accent do you have, buddy? Because if you can't say Link, then that's weird. So... So, and how about you, Link? Why are you here? You are looking for a sacred flame? That sounds like something I've heard of before, but maybe not. <laughs> oh, sweet Goro, I remember now. I read something about it in, in ancient scrolls that spoke of the Laneru Sand Sea. Interesting. I do not remember all the details, but you can get to, the, to Laneru Sand Sea if you just go straight through here. Through that door, I guess because they're showing us. If you want to get to the Laneru Sand Sea, you're going to need this key. Thanks, buddy. 
Man, he did. He doesn't even. He just met us, and he's just. He's a nice guy. I think Gorons are nice, nice guys. They're they're like pals. Now I'm gonna blow up my pal, because that makes sense. So now that that's open, can we get in there? We can't. What do you say? I I need you to move. There's something in there. Bro. Wait, can we roll it in here? Roll! No, we can't. What? What? Oh my word! The bomb's going. I'm, I'm sorry for just standing here, but it's the end of the episode anyway. You are? Well then, uh, you'd be interested in ex excavating. Thing is, these, these research digs can get really expensive, but they can also be lucrative. Any interested? Any interest in harvesting 10 rupees in my dig? Sure. We have a ton. Thanks, I'll put these funds to good use. I like his little dance there. Um, this is awkward. <laughs> Aww. These Gorons are kind of cute. Anyway, also, why is he mining when he could just bomb? I don't know. Okay, um, is there a thing? No. Do we have to go up here? Because I was going to end the episode, but I guess we do. Then I'm sorry for doing stuff. I might just cut that what I was just doing out because there's no purpose to it. So apparently we just run in here. I'm, now, this episode's going long, but that's because I have n no... I don't see a statue. A report master, this is Lane Rusan Sea. This whole area is once a vast ocean. But the water has all evaporated, and now the area is full of sand. That's really sad. Ugh. This area just makes me sad, I think. Signs indicate that this place functioned as a port, linking the land to the sea. And here's a new area of Laneru. Jung. Okay, there is a secret here once Fee stops talking. This area operated on a new form of power. There's a 90% probability that the Sacred Flame is located here. I recommend recommend exploring the Sand Sea. So there's a secret here. Um, what we want to do is throw out our beetle, spin her around, Go up. Pretty sure. Up. I'm 90% sure. 90%. I am 90% sure there's a secret. I I know there's a secret up here. I've seen it done. Is it up there? Ah, there they are. You saw it? There it is. Okay, okay. We saw it. Okay. Come on. Please do it. How do we get that? Yes! Okay, there's one. Is there another one? There has to be. It's it's Zelda. It's going to be symmetrical. Okay, up here. Yo, I missed it. And there's something else up there, too. This secret's really good. Okay. Up. Up. Okay, we got one. Now, I want to see what that thing is up there. Okay, as soon as we reach the ridge, we're going to spin around. There's a thing up there. I know this episode's going long, but it's really... It's unavoidable. So let's go ahead and go over here. There. The first bird statue we come to will we'll end the episode. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping it up. Um, next episode, we're going to... We're going to explore this little area over here. We cannot jump that. 
because there are some secrets in this area. And we're also going to try to make our way through the Sand Sea, I guess. That's, that's pretty much the only place we can go. So I'll see you guys next episode for another Pal Plays Skyward Sword. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. You startled me so bad. You know what? No. 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 No, I'm not. Ugh.